Hi, it's Alex. Today I want to ask the question, what does it mean to have a good relationship between two countries? I've been sparked to think about this by some of the stuff that I see in the news. Some of the stuff in particular that has been going on with Russia, and also with Israel. And I see a lot of these very simple statements being made, where people are like, talking about having a good relationship with Russia, or a good relationship with Israel. I see all this controversy about the Russians potentially hacking or influencing the U.S. election. And then I see Trump and Trump supporters responding to this. And one of the things I see Trump saying over and over again is that he wants us to have a good relationship with Russia. I want us to question what that means. I think it's important that we don't think of having a good relationship with a country in two simple terms. I personally believe that a good relationship is a pretty deep thing, and it is not the same as a relationship where you blindly agree with whatever the other party does. So in the case of a country, I don't think a good relationship is one where you blindly support whatever actions the government of that country takes. I think good relationships are really deep. They involve a variety of different things. So when you're talking about countries, I think they involve a degree of understanding of each other's culture, and respect for each other's culture. They involve having people in each country who speak each other's language, having ties, economic ties, trade, business relationships between the countries. It's a very multifaceted thing. And if you're talking about the diplomatic relationship, I think it involves having a degree of trust where you can freely criticize each other's actions without necessarily jeopardizing the relationship. One of the things that I see that in the current atmosphere, especially between Russia and Israel, Israel is probably an even more extreme example of this, is this idea that in order to have a good relationship with a country, we need to support or condone their actions. Like, if you had a friend, and the friend got really angry with you whenever you questioned or disagreed with anything that they said, are they really a good friend? Like, do you really have a good relationship with that person? This is how I feel about Israel right now. Like, people are are talking as if the U.S. has had a good relationship with Israel for some time, but look at what happened recently. There was this UN Security Council vote to condemn Israeli settlements. And the U.S. didn't vote in support of this, the U.S. abstained from it. So we, we basically declined to veto it. And uh, Netanyahu and others in the Israeli government, the current Israeli government, were absolutely livid about this. They got really, really angry, and they said all this awful stuff about the U.S. and about the United Nations. And like, is that a good relationship? I think that if we had actually had a good relationship with Israel from the beginning, we would have been able to criticize them without them just freaking out on us, which is what they did. I want us to have a good relationship with Israel, and a good relationship with Russia. But I think it's important for us to think about what that means, and look at it in a deeper light. I think that there is significant evidence that Russian has interfered somehow in our election. I don't know the details, and I don't want to jump to conclusions about what actually went on, but the allegations are really serious, and I want us to investigate it. And I don't want us to be talking as if having a good relationship with Russia necessitates ignoring that. Like, that is crazy. That approach is lunacy. If you are thinking about individuals, I think the same is true for countries, if you want to have a good relationship with someone, I think you need to be assertive when that person is doing something to hurt you. And I think you need to be assertive and speak up when they are doing something that you strongly disagree with, on like a moral or ethical level. Like if you see them hurting someone else, hurting themselves. With countries, Russia has done some things that I think are really bad. 
And I think it's important for us to stand up and be like, hey, we don't like that you're doing this, and to take actions to influence them so that they stop doing those things, whether they're things that influence us negatively, things that hurt us, or things that hurt other people, other countries. I still want us to have a good relationship with Russia, though. Like, I want us to be able to influence each other positively. I want them to be able to criticize us, I want us to be able to criticize them, without it jeopardizing everything about our relationship. Same goes for Israel, same goes for any country. I want us to start thinking about having good relationships with other countries in a deeper level. So if you like this, I would encourage you, if you agree with these ideas, I would encourage you to start talking about these things more. And when you hear someone say, having a good relationship with a country, to mean agreeing with or condoning everything that that country do, does, challenge it. Be like, hey, you are talking as if having a good relationship means agreeing with everything that that country does. I don't think that's true. And share some of the ideas I just shared with you. I hope you find this helpful. Thank you.